I didn't forget the history videos today. I didn't. I just decided to wait till the end of the day to do this one. Now, Montreal dominant team, right? Yesterday, yeah. Guess what? There's a new dynasty in town. Um, the regular season goes from 50 to 60 games. You'll notice it's a 60-game schedule on the board here. Clarence Campbell is named the third president of the league. So Red Dutt and Steph's aside, Clarence Campbell takes over, and uh, the league really explodes as Kit with Campbell as president. And Montreal kind of explodes in a later episode we'll get into too, but uh, that's, that's a whole other thing. Um, October 8th, 1946, Gordie Howe signs his first contract with the Detroit Red Wings at the fresh age of 18. 18 year old Gordie Howe, and he celebrates on October 16th by scoring his first ever NHL goal. He'll, there'll be 800 more of these to come. Um, but January 8th, 1947, uh, rookie Howie Meeker scores five goals in a game against Chicago that the Toronto Maple Leafs won 10 to 4. Uh, Howie Meeker's a, a big guy, and we'll get into that in a second. Um, and I don't mean big physically, I mean bigger than life personality. Uh, Hart Trophy goes to Maurice Richard. And from what I've been flipping through, that might be his only heart. That's that's a surprise to me personally. Uh, the Calder goes to Howie Meeker, as, say, as stated, of the Toronto Maple Leafs. So Howie Meeker beats Gordie Howe for the Calder. That's a big, you know, brownie point for him. Vezina goes to Bill Dern of Montreal, because of course it does. The Bing goes to Bobby Bauer of the Boston Bruins. He's back. Bobby's back with the Boston Bruins winning Bings as Bobby Bauer can. There's another tongue twister in there somewhere. There is. Uh, Frank Selke is pushed out in Toronto. So Con Smythe, uh, during the war, went in, uh, did some military service. Once the war was done, uh, Con Smythe comes back and goes, uh, yeah, thanks, this is my job. And even though Selke wanted to keep it, he's out. Uh, Selke would go to Montreal and help the Montreal Canadiens out, who sit first overall at 34-16-10. Next up's Toronto at 31-19-10. Boston's 26, 23, and 11. And the Kraut line, which was Schmidt, Dumart, and, uh, and, and Bauer. Uh, they all finished top 10 in scoring in the league. So they're back. Boston's back. Uh, Detroit, 22, 27, and 11. The Rangers, 22, 32, and 6. So this is an improvement, but they're still not a playoff team. Chicago is at the bottom, 19, 37, and 4. You'll notice the Rangers haven't been in the playoffs for the last, what, three or four videos now? It's it's really, it's it's a rough time for them. Um, in the semifinals, again, it's 1 versus 3, 2 versus 4. So some classic series here. Uh, Boston in Montreal, 3 to 1 for Montreal. Montreal wins game 2 in overtime, 2 to 1. Boston wins at home in game 3, 4 to 2. But Montreal goes in and beats Boston in game 4, 5 to 1. And then Montreal wins in double overtime, 4-3, to three, to win the series in five, because Boston can't beat Montreal. This, this is just how history works, and this is how reality works. Boston has a really hard time with Montreal, and you know, for Montreal fans who may wonder why I haven't liked Montreal, it, that's part of it. Definitely part of it. Um, all right, uh, the next round you have Detroit and Toronto. Toronto wins 3-2. to two in overtime in game one. Detroit wins game two, nine. Count them, nine goals to, to one in Toronto. Can you imagine if that happened now? Can you imagine? People would be lighting their Leafs jerseys on fire while they're wearing them. Uh, game three and four, however, in Detroit, Toronto wins four to one, and then Detroit loses in Toronto in game five, six to one. So Toronto answers that huge loss in the best way possible, wins the next three, knocks the wings out. Which means that in the Stanley Cup, finally you have Toronto and Montreal. This is a thing. It's not going to be the last time we see this thing either. Uh, Montreal wins 6-0 in Game 1, but Toronto wins 4-0 in Game 2. Game 3, Toronto wins at home, 4-2. They win Game 4 at home, 2-1 in overtime. Montreal wins Game 5 to stay alive by a score of 3-1. Game 6, Toronto, 2-1 over Montreal. Toronto wins the Stanley Cup in six games. This is the first of uh, a nice little Stanley Cup run, and the Toronto Maple Leafs are about to become a dynasty. Not in the regular season, but in the postseason. So again, for people who are following this series, how many times has the team that finished first in the league actually not won the Cup? It happens often. Um, and again, and I, I mention this because everybody talks about a President's Trophy curse. 
There's no curse. It's just the team that finishes first throughout hockey history doesn't necessarily win in the playoffs. It's just reality. Um, being able to win in a regular season game as opposed to a best of seven series, it's a completely different beast, and some teams don't do it very well. Not to say that Montreal struggles with that, because we'll get to that in the series where Montreal is a very dominant team. But for Leaf and Habs fans, this series should be a slam dunk. You win a lot. This is the sixth Stanley Cup for Toronto. They're almost halfway to that, that 13 that the city of Toronto has. Um... With one by the arenas, 12 by the Leafs, and the arenas and the Leafs have a direct lineage between each other. That's why they wore the Aretna's jersey last year in Toronto game. But hey, um, and on this jersey, no, this one doesn't have the Stanley Cups on it. Just going to say, does this one have the Stanley Cups? No, it's the one they wore, they wore this past season, which was all white, that had the Stanley Cups on it. Anyways, so there you go. Um, your trophy winners, your Stanley Cup winners, Toronto Maple Leafs. And your President's Trophy winners before there was a President's Trophy, Montreal. Thank you guys so much for watching. Hit like and subscribe if you're browsing your way through. You're just having fun this video. And hey, thank you guys for being out there and for supporting me through my travels. From Moscow, Idaho, this is me. I'll talk to you again soon.